Thank you for downloading Manage Engine Service Test Plus. In this video, we will discuss about the new agent for Service Test Plus, the configurations required to set it up, remote control, and more. Introducing the new unified agent for asset discovery. The previous asset discovery agent in Service Test Plus had its restrictions with limited scope in terms of functionality. With the new, Enhanced Unified Agent for Asset Discovery, courtesy of Desktop Central, the Unified Endpoint Management Solution from Manage Engine, Service Desk Plus users now have access to a powerful agent which enables efficient asset discovery, remote control, and more. The new agent is available for Service Desk Plus customers using Professional and Enterprise Edition, both new installations and upgrades alike. After new installations or upgrades, when users access asset-related admin configurations, they will be prompted to install Desktop Central. On acknowledgement, Desktop Central can be installed following the instructions. Once the installation is complete, a new unified agent can then be configured and deployed. Prerequisites It's important to make sure the following ports are accessible. Ensure the server ports, their types are accessible for server-related operations. For remote control and tools-based operations, ensure the following ports mentioned are opened in your network. Likewise, for domain scan, ensure port 389 is open. Benefits of the new agent Using the new unified agent, admins can discover Windows, Linux, and Mac operating system workstations using relevant agents instead of using multiple discovery methods. Fetch warranty information of workstations automatically. Perform advanced remote control operations. Agent auto upgrade. With the new unified agent, you no longer need to download the latest agents and deploy them using the deployment techniques. Well, the new unified agent will auto upgrade itself. Agent configuration. Here are the steps involved in configuring the new agent. Once Service Test Plus is either newly installed or upgraded, and after the Desktop Central is being installed and configured, head to Admin Agent Configuration, and over here you will see three different agents for different operating systems. You can download a Windows agent for Windows operating systems, Linux agent, or for a Mac. All you have to do is click on the download button and the corresponding zip file will be downloaded. Once the download is completed, you can unzip the file and install the agent following the configurations. And here are the steps to perform bulk installation of agents for Linux machines, Mac machines or for Windows operating systems. You can follow these instructions to deploy agent on different workstations. Set up NATing or public IP address for scanning assets outside the network. After successful configuration and deployment of agent into the target workstations, Service Desk Plus has a provision to configure Desktop Central's server IP address and its public IP address. So over here, make sure you add the Desktop Central server IP and if there is a public IP address to scan assets outside the office network, please make sure you add them into the public IP address segment and click on save. This way, you can scan assets both within and outside your network. White Area Network If you have remote locations and if you have deployed Asset Explorer as Remote Probe, make sure you upgrade Asset Explorer to 6900 version of the release. This way, the Asset Explorer probe will be prompted to download and deploy Desktop Central as we have seen earlier for Service Desk Plus. This helps you to scan assets information of those sites and push the information right into your central server which is Service Desk Plus. So assets deployed globally from different sites can be scanned and managed using Service Desk Plus and with the help of Probe and Desktop Central integration. Windows Domain Scan after successful installation of the agents and after setting up the public IP address if required, go to Admin Windows Domain Scan 
to perform scanning of your workstations. To scan the workstations, you can add a new domain, provide the domain details, the credentials, and you can use the agent to scan workstations which has Windows, Linux, or Mac operating systems. Network Scan Apart from scanning machines on your domain, you can also perform network scan to scan different type of assets. Well, using the domain scan as we earlier discussed, you can scan machines of Windows, Linux, or Mac operating systems. Using network scan, you can provide IP address which is either for a network or for an entire range and you can perform different scanning options for that particular IP address or for the network range. When you click on add new network, you can either provide IP of an entire network or add a range that is required and you need to make sure that agents are installed on Windows, Linux and Mac machines so this way whatever IP address has been defined the agent is going to be reached on all those IP address and the scan will be performed accordingly. So this is again an important reason why you need to make sure your agents are configured and deployed accordingly. Remote control. Now that the agent has been successfully deployed, let's take a look at the configurations for remote control and its features. Prerequisites. In addition to the ports discussed earlier, the following configurations are mandatory for remote control feature. Make sure you assign AE remote control role to the technician's profile. Then, ensure global access is enabled in admin self-service portal settings. To make the remote control more secure and verify user consent, enable the following option under admin discovery agent configuration, enable prompt for end user confirmation before initiating remote control. Let us take a tour of the remote control features, its capabilities and benefits. We have seen the steps on how to enable the remote control features. Once all of this is in place, you will notice that the assets are being scanned using the scan type called desktop central agent, which means the agents are successfully installed and it's performing the scan. The next thing is, you will have the remote control operation enabled on the workstations because you have enabled the corresponding remote control settings. Now, I'm going to perform the remote control using desktop central agent and once I click on it, it is going to ask me for the reason for the remote control. After giving the reason, I click on initiate. Now, when you do this operation, just make sure that the pop-ups are being enabled for this particular URL. So this way, the pop-ups will load and the remote control session will be established. Now that the unified agent has now initiated the remote control session, here are a couple of things that we need to understand. If the users are logged into the workstation and if you're performing the remote control operation, the session is going to be a screen sharing session, which means the end user will be prompted about the screen sharing session that is about to happen. So the end user can understand what's happening and what is the technician doing as and when it is being done. If the user is not logged into the workstation, then it would be a remote desktop session. Likewise, if the asset is not a physical asset, if it is a virtual asset, then it would be a remote desktop session. Now. Once I've successfully done my remote desktop session, I have a couple of options that I could perform, which is adjusting the screen size. I have a lot of tools that I could use, which is like I could use the control alt delete to go ahead and log into the asset. Then I have a couple of other uh, inputs that I could use, take screenshot. Then I have a couple of quick launch options that I get. I have a couple of power options. So these are options that you could do when you are doing a remote desktop or a screen sharing session. I can make text chats, voice or video call and then I can also do file transfers. So right from my session I can send files to the target workstation. Security configurations. To ensure the agent's availability at all times the following configurations has to be enabled. Under admin agent configuration you have agent security settings. You need to make sure you restrict users from uninstalling the agent from control panel, restrict users from stopping the agent service. 
If these are disabled and if the users are able to uninstall or stop the service, then the service testers will not be able to communicate to the target workstations. Also, while performing remote control operations, you need to make sure you get consent from the end user for accessing their workstation. So enable the option prompt for end user confirmation to initiate remote control. Points to note. The new agent will be available for Service Test Plus customers with the Professional or the Enterprise editions when they upgrade to the latest version and also for new installations for the above mentioned editions. Remote control is available for existing Professional and Enterprise customers only. All new customers should purchase add-on licensing for the remote control feature. For more details on pricing and licensing, refer to the video description.